Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, May 28, 2020. I'm Fredicia Leibert. Superintendent of Police Lyndon David is urging the public to continue to adhere to the statutory rules and regulations of 2020 Emergency Powers Act. We have seen some persons are being careless and we had to break up a party at the weekend where persons were drinking alcohol and eating and drinking without face mask and we are of the view that none of them were of the immediate families. We are saying to you, discontinue this practice. Yes, God is blessing us that we have no new cases, but we, we still have to be careful, be mindful until the health officials would have given all clear and that has not been given. So continue to practice social distancing and physical distancing. Remember, all retail liquor license premises are still remain suspended. Therefore, there must not be any selling of liquor and persons should not go on these premises to patronize them. He also made an appeal to religious institutions. All religious places of instruction or worship may function only on Saturday or Sunday. That is a day of limited operation between the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Again, I repeat that. Only on Saturday and Sunday the places of worship should meet. Let us continue to follow these guidelines and instructions to ensure that we have no transmission at these places of worship. Also, all services shall begin in accordance with the provisions of these regulations, in particular Regulation 7, Regulation 15, and Regulation 17, and any other condition or directive given by the COVID-19 task force. Superintendent of Police Lyndon David was speaking at the COVID-19 EOC briefing for Monday, May 25th, 2020. Superintendent of Police Lyndon David is reminding persons of the rules and regulations with regards to the hosting of weddings and funerals. Notwithstanding Regulation 10, during a day of limited operation, a person may attend a wedding except no more than 25 persons shall be in attendance. No more than one officiant should be in attendance. Only essential camera technicians should be in attendance. Only two essential witnesses should be in attendance. The wedding shall have a maximum duration not exceeding one half hour. And all persons except the bride and groom shall adhere to social distancing and physical distancing protocols. Superintendent David also spoke about funerals. Regulation 16.6. It says here, notwithstanding Regulation 10, during a day of limited operation, a person may attend a funeral except A, no more than 25 members of the immediate family should be in attendance. B, no more than one officiant should be in attendance. C, only essential mortuary personnel should be in attendance. D, the funeral shall have a maximum duration not exceeding one hour. Superintendent of Police, Lyndon David, speaking at the COVID-19 daily briefing for May 25th, 2020. The Nevis Water Department in the Nevis Island Administration, NIA, has added new areas throughout Nevis to a list of areas already affected by the implementation of a water rationing schedule on May 16th, 2020. The water rationing, which will be implemented nightly from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. until further notice, became necessary due to the ongoing dry spell being experienced on Nevis, the department says. The new areas added to the list with effect from May 24th are Cox, Clegot, Chickenstone, Meats Pasture, Taylor's Pasture, Montpelier, Lamper Hill, Coal Hill, Beach Road, Burden Pasture, Brown Pasture, Upper Morning Star, Upper Cane Garden, Shaw's Road, Fountain, Mount Lily, Upper Westbury, Cahoon Estate, and Upper Paradise Estate. The other areas already on the water, water rationing schedule are Butler's, Bricklin, Potworks, 
Barnaby, Newcastle, Camps, Nisbet Settlement, Lower Westbury, Cades Bay, Clifton Estate, Zion Village, Hanley's Road, Hickman's, Rice's, Victoria Road, Upper Church Ground, Brown Hill, Upper Hamilton, Cherry Garden, Prospect, Bath Village, Bath Plain, Upper and Lower Stony Grove, and Charlestown. The department registers its apologies for any inconvenience the interruptions may cause. Commissioner of Police of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, Hilroy Brandy, recognized several stakeholders for their commendable work during the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. I want to take this opportunity to thank the rank and file of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force for their hard work during the past two months. I also want to thank the members of the St. Kitts Nevis Defence Force, our sister partner, for its partnership with us and to make sure we have safer streets and communities, said Commissioner Brandy during the NEOC COVID-19 briefing for May 26, 2020. Commissioner Brandy also recognized the Ministry of Health for their meritorious contributions to St. Kitts and Nevis during the pandemic. I also want to thank the Ministry of Health both in St. Kitts and Nevis for their excellent performance over the last five months. I think without that type of work from the Ministry of Health, we would not have the success we are seeing in St. Kitts and Nevis today, he said. The Commissioner also expressed heartfelt gratitude to the general public for their continued cooperation with the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Freddie Silyberg. Thank you for viewing. And the time.